Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to configure a MicroTik switch. As you can see, I have the switch plugged in to the wall. It is powered up. I have my Mac connected to the Ethernet port on it over a 2.5 gig Ethernet adapter. And we have a self-assigned IP address. We're going to go to Details, TCP IP, and switch this to Manual. We're going to do 192.168.88.2. 192.168.88.1. is our router. And our IP address is 88.2. I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to type in 192.168.1. Sorry, 88.1. And as you can see, we are in the web fig of our MicroTik switch. We're going to enter in the old password and set up a new password to change it. Now, I did want to mention here that this switch had an old password because it has been set up before, apparently. I had to factory reset the switch by holding the reset button when plugging it in. So you have to factory reset it, then you'll have the option to just specify a new password. Some of the MicroTik switches require you to use a password that comes on a printed sheet in the box, um, but mine did not have that in this case, so I had to reset the switch manually. Your two options here are router and bridge mode. I'm going to use bridge mode because that makes it function like a network switch, like a managed switch. Router mode um, puts it into obviously like a router kind of a mode where it has a WAN connection and a LAN connection. Uh, you can set it up either way. We're going to go put this in bridge mode. We're going to do a automatic IP address acquisition. Our router identity is going to be MDF core microtech. Like so. Um, and now we're going to apply configuration. And we're going to actually lose connection to this device. As you can see, we cannot load the web page anymore. And this is because we put it into automatic address acquisition, which means it's going to pull a DHCP address from your network. So I'm going to plug it into my network now, and we'll continue with the setup. Okay, so I've logged in to the IP address of our MicroTik router now. Um, and I don't know why it continues to show the quick setup screen. Uh, we're just going to apply configuration. Go to WebFig at the top. As you can see, we have all 16 of our glorious SFP ports. Um, now we're going to go, we're going to update this thing. As you can see, we are on version 6.49.8, which is a long-term edition release. All of my other routers are on 7.13, so it's pretty out of date. We're going to go down to Tools. We're going to go to System, Packages, Check for Updates, Stable, and Download. Okay, so now I've gone to Router Board, Upgrade. Now we're going to reboot the switch once again. Okay, so now that we are up to date on the latest um, stable edition, we're going to go to upgrade, and we're going to upgrade to 7.12.11. As you can see, it's quite a big jump there, so we're going to click download. It's going to download the firmware, and now we're going to go to reboot and reboot the router. If we go to router board, and we go to upgrade, we're going to upgrade our firmware, then we are going to be completely up to date on this switch. I'm not sure why it's such a process to update, maybe someone knows why, but that is how you upgrade the switch. Now we're going to set up the interfaces. Okay, so as you can see, we are now fully up to date. We're going to go to interfaces and we're going to go to VLAN, add new interface. I say VLAN 8. We're going to call this VLAN management. Click OK. Now we're going to go to IP addresses, sorry, DHCP client, add new client. We're going to use interface management and default route all of that's fine I'm going to click ok and now we're going to go to dhcp addresses as you can see we have an address now on the management network which is 8.21 so this is the ip i'm going to use to connect to the switch now as you can see we just got logged in now i'm going to show you how to tag a vlan to a port we're going to go to um, interfaces vlan add new i'm going to use vlan 24 this time I'm going to call this VMNet and click OK. So as you can see, we have that VLAN here. Okay, so now we're going to add a new bridge. I click New. I'm going to say VMNet Bridge. Click OK. Now we're going to go to Ports, Add New, and we're going to go VMNet. We're going to send this to the VMNet Bridge. Now we're going to go to Port 2, change that to VMNet Bridge. So basically what we did is we are sending VMNet to the VMNet bridge and this is now referencing VMNet bridge because we cannot directly reference um, the VLAN because if we change this it's just going to change the VLAN going to the bridge so that is the correct way of doing that from what I know 
So now port 2 is tagged to VLAN 24, because if you go to interfaces, VLAN, as you can see, VMNet is VLAN ID 24. And you need this interface to be bridged, because this is where it's going to connect to the VLAN from. If you switch this to VMNet bridge or something, that is not going to do what you want it to do. This is essentially tagging VLAN 24 to port 2, or Ether 2 of this switch. That is how you tag a VLAN on a port. That's all I have for this video today. Thank you for watching. If you have anything to add, let me know. If you set your MicroTik switches up differently, also let me know. I'm curious how you set them up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.